Let's go through some common uh, metric unit conversions for area. And the first one is the square millimeter. And the square millimeter is really just think of a tiny little square uh, with dimensions one millimeter times one millimeter. And we write that as one mm with a little uh, 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 superscript two. Uh, so that's pronounced square millimeter. Okay, not, not millimeter squared, even though it kind of looks like that for, because the, the way the, the, the unit's written. Um, the correct pronunciation uh, or the correct, uh, the, the, the correct terminology is the square millimeter. Next we have square centimeters. Um, so a square centimeter is a square that's one centimeter times one centimeter and we write it as one, uh, one cm with a, with a superscript two. Okay, so a little index of two there. And a one square centimeter probably looks something like, like that. And um, you know, its area is one, one square centimeter, of course. It can also be uh, converted into square millimeters because a square uh, centimeter, uh, so that's, that's one by one, a square centimeter is really the same as 10 millimeters times 10 millimeters. Okay, so that's a, so that's a 10 there. And 10 times 10 is 100. So a square centimeter could be converted into square millimeters um, with the conversion uh, rate of one square centimeter uh, to 100 square millimeters. Then we have a square meter, which is just a meter times a meter, and we write that as one uh, m with a superscript two, so one m two, uh, which is one square meter. That's also uh, equivalent to a hundred centimeters times a hundred centimeters, which is ten thousand uh, square centimeters. So you can see that um, I guess that relationship there with the with the metric um, units for length that we've looked at uh, before. You're just squaring them. That's all. So the meter. The, the meter converts into a centimeter into a hundred centimeters, but when we're talking about area, we need to talk about um, the the square of the uh, of the, um, uh, the the conversion from meters to centimeters. So uh, instead of uh, multiplying a meters um, to by a hundred to convert it into centimeters, if we're talking about area, we have to multiply it by a hundred squared. Uh, in fact, I might just uh, annotate that there. That's really multiplying it by 100 squared. Okay, so important to note that. A square meter can also con uh, be converted into square millimeters as well. Um, a meter is a thousand millimeters, again from a uh, metric, um, metric unit conversion for, for length. Uh, milli, thousand, there's a thousand of, a um, thousand of these milli millimeters in a meter. Um, but we're going to multiply it by really a thousand times a thousand, and that's just a thousand squared. And hence, that's the relationship uh, as well. You can see that between the, the unit, uh, which is the whatever the, the unit of length is, with a two. Um, that means that we're talking about an area, a square shape, okay? not just a length, a line. Uh, now, a hectare is an interesting one. Okay? A hectare is based on a, an old unit of measure uh, called the uh, hectometer. Now, we don't have to worry about these. But a hectometer actually is, is 100 metres. Okay? That's an old unit of measure. We're not, not too worried about that. So that's where the word hectare comes from. So a hectare really is a, a hectometer times a, a hectometer, but because we don't have to worry about this uh, hectometer, we just express it as 100 meters times 100 meters. And that's um, you know, 10,000 uh, square meters, and we write it as one HA, okay? So that's one hectare, okay? So, so that's just, usually we use that for measuring uh, land area. Uh, the imperial, um, I guess, uh, I, would say, I would say equivalent, but the imperial version of that is the acre. So you might talk about you know a quarter acre block of land or a five acre block of land. Um, that's uh, the imperial measure, and that used to be used you know back in the back in the you know um, in the old days. But um, it, it uh, these these uh, since Australia became uh, sort of a, well adopted the metric system, the hectare you know, was was uh, adopted as the uh, the unit of measure for for land area or generally that's what we use. Then we have the square kilometer. And the square kilometer, when you start to talk about large tracts of land, a uh, square kilometer is, a, is one kilometer times one kilometer, which is one kilometer, one kilometer with a little two. That's one square kilometer. Now, it's a fairly large area of land. I guess in a typical suburb, I mean, look, you could have, um, you know, maybe a few square kilometers to tens of square kilometers for maybe even more, uh, depending on, on, on the area. Um, so when you're starting to talk about the, the area of um, you know, a suburb or, or, or a major city or a state or a country, uh, we start to talk in square kilometres. Uh, kilometres are 1,000 metres, as you know, from metric con uh, unit conversions for length. 
thousand meters times a thousand meters. Well, that's a million uh, square meters. Okay, so uh, and and also hectares. I've got to relate hectares to square kilometers as well. So a hectare is ten thousand square meters. A square kilometer is a million uh, square meters. Divide one by the other, you get a hundred. So a hundred of these hectares fit in a square kilometer. Now I've drawn another diagram as well, uh, one of those conversion diagrams. So if you wish to maybe just learn it this way, you're, you're welcome to as well. Uh, so again, going from left to right, we multiply. So we follow the red arrows, it's a multiplication. Going from right to left, it's a division. Notice what I've done in green as well. In, uh, if you want to uh, basically sidestep the hectare or the, or the square centimetre and just go from kilometres to metres to, 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 uh, to millimetres or square kilometres, uh, square metres to square millimetres, square metres to square millimetres, we follow the green arrows. Okay. Either way, it's, it's correct. It just depends if you want to just um, skip one of these units of measure. Um, and really there's not much else here. You can see that it looks quite similar to the metric uh, unit, the, the, the metric um, unit conversions, you know, for, for length. Uh, quite, quite um, you know, not, not much different to that. The one thing to note though, and I might just point this out quickly, where do these numbers come from? So there's, uh, ten, there's uh, 10 millimeters in a centimeter, but we're talking about, right, a square. So where does this 100 come from? We know that there's 10 millimeters in a in a centimeter. Okay, but when you're talking about a square, right? So the area of a square, uh, we need the 100 comes from 10 squared. Okay. So I could think of it as when we're converting from say square centimeters to square millimeters, uh, if it's just length, we just multiply by 10. But if it's area, we multiply by 10 squared. Now, likewise with meters to uh, square meters to square centimeters, uh, there's a hundred centimeters in a meter, okay? But because we're talking about area, instead of multiplying just by a hundred, we can multiply by a hundred squared, and a hundred a hundred squared is ten thousand. Um, now, the hectare to um, to the square meter again that comes from the hectometer, okay? So the hectometer well, there's one hundred meters in a hectometer. So we could multiply by 100 squared. Now kilometers to, to hectares, um, same thing, 100 is just 10 squared. Okay, so you could even learn it this way. There's, there's no correct, or more correct way. It just depends on you, how you feel and how comfortable you feel, um, which way is the better way to, I guess, to learn this, okay? All right, let's have a look at some quick examples. Um, there's some four examples there. So let's convert the, for, uh, the following areas. Uh, 88 uh, square centimeters to square millimeters. Now we know we're going from a larger unit of measure to a smaller unit of measure. Okay. To a smaller unit of measure, it's going to be a multiplication. Okay. So think of converting centimeters to millimeters. Okay. So 88 centimeters, converting that to millimeters, we have to multiply that by 10. But because we're we're dealing with um, with with area, we have to multiply by 10 squared. Okay. So Make sure you note that, that square there. Okay, so that's 88 times uh, times 100. Okay, so if you if you feel very tired, you don't trust yourself, put it in your calculator. Otherwise, uh, it's just 88 with, a, with two zeros at the end. Okay, because you're multiplying it by 100. And of course, make sure you include the correct unit of measure there. Okay, uh, what about 3.2 hectares to square centimeters? Okay, now the table's there in front of you. Um, that's not necessarily going to be given to you, obviously, uh, in an exam. So just be be mindful. This is something that you need to learn. Okay. Uh, however, we could convert hectares uh, to square meters um, easily enough because we know that there's ten thousand square meters in a hectare. So three point two hectares. Okay. If we multiply that by ten thousand, okay, we get thirty two thousand square meters. Now meters into centimeters, we can multiply that then by hundred squared. So 32,000 square meters and meters to centimeters, think of converting just the, the unit of length and then we square it, okay? Because we're talking about area. So that's adding another four more zeros, okay? So it's gonna be 32, three zeros, and then another four zeros. One, two, three, four uh, square centimeters. And something like this, usually we'd be using something like, something like uh, scientific notation for example or um, that's in fact that's probably the you know when you start to get this many zeros I'd probably start to look at scientific notation 
Okay, let's have a look at the last uh, two. So 550 uh, square millimeters to, um, to, to square meters. And now we're going from a, a small unit of measure to a large unit of measure. Uh, it, it's instead of multiplication, it's just division. And we know there's a thousand of those. So uh, a thousand millimeters fits into a meter. So I could divide by a thousand, but because we're talking about area, we need to divide by a thousand squared. Okay, so uh, going back to the diagram, that that's where the, the that's where the thousand squared comes in. Okay, so uh, square uh, millimeters, square meters, you can divide by a thousand squared again because there's a thousand millimeters in a meter, and we're talking about area, so we need to square it. Okay, so again, rather than sort of taking chances with the number of zeros, uh, you could just type it into your calculator, and you will get zero point zero 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 five five square meters okay and the last one 828 hectares to uh, square kilometers uh, this is a quite a sort of a common conversion between hectares and square kilometers especially when we're talking about huge amounts of, of land uh, sometimes they could they could use both units of measure right so we know that there's a hundred hectares in a in a square kilometer okay so this is going to be div uh, division by a hundred or ten squared okay and that's going to be eight point two eight square kilometers.